Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. So why are you smoking the weed there? What's going on? When are you going to commit your body as a living sacrifice to him? Don't you want his mercy? Don't you want his mercy? Ready from the top? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. You owe it to God to commit your body as a reasonable sac as a sacrifice, brother. Your body has to be holy. Everyone's body out here has to be holy. That's right. What is holy? Let's get that. Romans 7 and 12. Is it? Let's find out. You know what I want? Yes, sir. What is holy? You say your body must be holy out here. But some of y'all ain't walking holy. I look at you. It's opposite of holy. It's drunkenness. It's sin. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Where for the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. So what's holy, Daryl? According to that scripture, was you listening? No, what is holy, though? What is holy? Read from the top. Wherefore, the law is holy. The what? The law is holy. So what is holy, Daryl? The laws are holy. So you have to sacrifice your body according to God's laws. Okay? You can't be smoking the weed. You got to put that thing away. Because your body is a sacrifice. You got to sacrifice yourself to God so you get that mercy. Because you don't know what's the weed laced with nowadays. Pesticide, whatever. Before you be out here bug out your mind like somebody else out here. Read from the top. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. The laws is good. Smoking weed is not good for you. You're going to be out here bugged out. You're going to smoke the wrong stuff one day, bro. The Lord is showing mercy for you right now by you presenting yourself among the prophets to tell you to change. The weed man ain't going to tell you to change. He wants your money. But we tell you to change, brother. Before it's too late. Let's go back to Romans 12 and uh, 12 and 1. They all go all the way down to 2. How do you make your body a living sacrifice? How so? Read. Start at 12 verse 1. This is the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So you owe it to God to change right now. Because your body ain't yours, it's his. Read on. How do we change though? Read. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Be not what? And be not conformed to this world. You can't be conformed to this world. The world taught you how to sin. The world taught you that weed is legal. If it's all, it might be legal, but it ain't good for you. You smoke the wrong stuff, then what? Who you gonna blame it on? The, the legislators that said that weed is illegal? You got yourself to blame for it because you have mercy to change. Because something legal to me is right, brother. Yes, right. Come on, man. Have some sense, man. Read from top. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to transform yourself up here. It starts up here, man. You got to change up here. Change the way you think. Change the way you act. Change the way you act. All that. Change the way you live. Those are steps when we go start doing it, though. Everybody talk the good talk. First Samuel 2 and 2. Hold that. First Samuel 2 and 2. Because we all out here like we got the answers. But what comes after knowing the answers? What comes after that? We might know. But where's the application at? The more you know, the more you require. But where's the application at? When? When? Come on. Now, welcome. This is the book of First Samuel, chapter 2, verse 2. There is none holy... Verse 3, talk no more exceedingly proudly. Talk no more what? Exceeding proudly. Yeah, we got to change. I know I got to change. But what are you doing when you're doing that when you're not putting forth the application? What is that called when you're talking to talk but not walking to walk? What is it called, Rick? Let not. Read from top. Talk no more exceeding proudly. So you're talking proudly. When you claim you know what you got to do, but you ain't taking no steps. Are you going to take the steps? We'll find out. The Lord knows, though. I'm going to put you on the spot because you must change. The weed out here ain't good for you. Everything See? in this world is not good for you. That's right. I don't give a damn who said it's legal or not. Bring it out. 
Just because Joe Biden says it's legal? See. Just because your savior Barack Obama said it was legal? He said gay marriage is legal too, but what you gonna do? You gonna do that too? Personal question. Hell no, you ain't gonna do it. So come on, brother, have some sense. Bring it How up. you sound? That's legal too, but who gonna do that? Come on, read from the top. Talk no more in so seating proudly. Come on. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. You let arrogancy come out of your mouth when you talking to talk but not walking the walk. Girl, you hear me, bro? You gotta talk to talk, but you gotta also walk that walk, bro. You gotta walk that walk, man. Have a personal relationship with Personal relationship, we'll get to that next. Read on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord is a what? A God of knowledge. Come on. By him, actions are weighed. By him what? By him, actions are weighed. So God is a God of all knowledge. You think you know something, you think that's knowledge, but God created all knowledge. But at the end of the day, he, he says actions are weighed. Do you understand that? What do you understand so far? What do you understand thus so, thus so far that you've been standing right here? Because you confess to the prophets that you have a weed addiction. What must you do? At the end of the day, what should you do? How do you repair from that? Put the weed down? Okay. That's the knowledge part. But where is the application going to start? When would it start? When? When? Read from the top. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Come on. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. You're arrogant right now because you got to think about it. You know what you got to do. You spitting on the most high right now. You being arrogant inside of the most high because you know what you got to do and you know you have the mercy to do it. But when you're presented with the time to change, you got to think about it. What you thinking about? Why you playing with the Lord, man? You're going to smoke the wrong stuff one day. The prophet said it. We the prophets. We tell you what's going to happen. That's right. Bring it up. Bring it up. We're stop playing with the Lord. We are going to stop playing with the Lord. Talking proudly. Talking to talk, but not walking it. Right. Read. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Come on, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Come on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. The Lord weighs you on your actions. He ain't going to weigh you on what you know. Because when you get judged, he going to say, okay, what did you do? You knew the law. But did you keep the law? Bring it out. Yeah, I knew it, Lord. That ain't good enough. Actions are weighed, girl. Remember that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.